Hey guys, before we get today's video started, I want to take a quick second to thank a couple of people who made this video possible. Uh, the first one being Lynn Logan, who is the store manager over at the Party Connection. She was a great help picking out these beers, even reserved them for me, and did me a great service that way. You can check them out online at www.thepartyconnectiononline.net. And if you're in the Portsmouth area and need a domesticated or even imported beer, just got a little taste for wine, stop in and see them, and uh, they'll hook you up. I'd also like to give a very special thank you to Oren Bailey. You can check out his channel right here. Uh, he did a cover of the theme today, and you're going to be hearing that in a few seconds. It's my first YouTube collaboration ever, so thank you so much, Oren, for doing that for me. And also a special thank you to Mo Lutz, who's been showing these videos to her family, her friends, and uh, people at her college. And I just really thank you for that, because it helps my channel grow a lot. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's kick it off! Ladies and gentlemen. Prepare yourselves for edible obscurities. <laughs> lollipop, lollipop, lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, lolly, 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 lollipop. Badum, bum, bum, bum. Hey guys, welcome back to Edible Obscurities. Today we have beer aplenty. Hey, joining me is Mr. James Arthur. Uh, funny thing about this is, is that I have never hung out with this guy before. <laughs> he is a bartender at a bar that I like to frequent. Yeah, so it's, it's fitting. Yeah, it's it's very <laughs> fitting. But anyways, we're going to jump right into these. Uh, I got a lot of different types of beers. We got a uh, friggin' I can't remember how to say this. Okay. I have notes this time. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, okay, so line and. Kugel. I was close. <laughs> Line and Kugel Oktoberfest, uh, the best German beer you can get from uh, Wisconsin. Is it really from Wisconsin? Yeah, it's, it's from Wisconsin. <laughs> it says right, uh, right there, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. We also have two brews from the New Holland Brewing Company. We have uh, Ichabod Pumpkin Ale, and we have the Poet Oatmeal uh, Stout. Oatmeal, oatmeal. beer? Oatmeal beer. And, uh, we also have this here, uh, Rivertown Pumpkin Ale. And the reason I have two different pumpkin ales is because this one, uh, this one uses pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And this one uses pumpkin, molasses, and cinnamon. So I figured they'd probably taste a little different. And last, but not least, the mistake of the family. Uh, <laughs> we have Flying Dog in Heat Wheat. Uh, now, the reason this is a mistake is because uh, they do have a Halloween uh, and fall themed beer, but I grabbed the wrong one when I went in to pick these up. They've got a lot of different beers like this, uh, but I, I love the quote on the side here. This sounds dirty, guys, just to yeah. say you know. A sword swallower taunts the crowd as they chant deeper and deeper. <laughs> <laughs> the ringing in your ears fades as you notice the mouse traps on his nipples. The air smells like clove and your mouth is wet with banana. <laughs> Either you are in the best goddamn bar in the States, uh, or you just took your first sip of in-heat wheat. This beer better taste like bananas or I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm a little worried about this one. Uh, let's jump right into this. Uh, we're gonna save this one for last. But, uh, what do you think? Uh, Oktoberfest first? Sure. Alright, let's jump in with some Oktoberfest. And, today, I have tester glasses Fancy. for the both of us. Yes! I'm classing it up a tad. I like the smoke that's coming out. Yeah, makes it look spooky. <laughs> uh, down the hatch. That is very bitter. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely got a flavor to it. Yeah, it's, it's got a unique flavor. Like, if I wanted a beer where they crunched up dead leaves and mixed it in with hops and barley and all that, that, this is probably what I'd think it tastes like. It's not a terrible taste. I mean, if you have a taste for beer, uh, or you drink it uh, regularly enough, uh, as we do, <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not that bad. You can handle it. But if you generally don't like beer anyways, uh, this is probably something you're going to want to avoid. If you're not a fan of uh, Budweiser or anything like that, definitely avoid this because this is shit compared to Budweiser. <laughs> so let's jump into the uh, the Rivertown Pumpkin Ale. So this is the molasses one. So I'm expecting this to be a little sweet. It smells sweeter. 
Yeah. Well, oh, we forgot to smell that first one. <laughs> it does. It does smell a little sweet though. Oh yeah, you can taste the molasses in that one. Yeah, there. Well, well, first off, uh, you definitely get pumpkin. It lives up to the pumpkin ale. Yeah. Um, but you, you, there definitely is a sweet, like uh, sugary kind of. Yeah, kind of. A, uh, it makes it thicker. It's kind of a creamy, thick taste. Um, but it's really good. I like this one. Um, I mean, again, if you don't like beer, and it's probably going to be the same for all of these. If you don't like beer, probably stay away from any of these. But uh, this one is really good. Uh, I, I definitely enjoy the pumpkin taste. Uh, as you know, I do pumpkin cookies and stuff like that, so that's a really good one. And since we tried that one, and we've got this second one here, simply because of the difference in nutmeg, uh, we're going to go ahead and do Ichabod uh, brew. Okay, we've got about the same look here. Oh, I can, it smells this, different. This one smells a lot different. This one smells a lot like pumpkin pie. Uh, and it's it's kind of got me excited because I love <laughs> pumpkin pies. Oh wow, that is much different. Yeah, it's very about, very different. It's about as good, but in a different way. Yeah, it, it's just as good, um, but there's a lot more pumpkin taste in this one. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as to say it tastes just like pumpkin pie, no. but it definitely smells like pumpkin pie. <laughs> I, I, I certainly suggest this one. And just so you know, we're drinking all the rest of this after you guys are off. Oh yes. yeah, we're, we're going to be good. <laughs> no. Next we have the Poet from the same guys who made uh, Ichabod here. The Poet. That's, that's, fucking... the, that's the oatmeal one. Yeah, oh this one I'm very interested in because uh, I've never heard of an oatmeal stout before now, and I don't know how. So if I had to make a guess of like the thickness, I'm gonna say something like Guinness. I mean, that, that's ooh yeah, yeah. That's that's what it looks like. Syrupy and and thick. It smells good. It, it smells like Guinness. Yeah. So. Ah, yeah, that tastes like Guinness. Yeah, I don't really taste any oatmeal. No. <laughs> the hell are the raisins and cinnamon? <laughs> No, but uh, that tastes just like uh, Guinness. It does kind of have a little spice to it. It does taste um, just like Guinness. I actually made a specific note about this one because this one is actually not a seasonal beer, although it does uh, go with the whole like you know fall and Halloween theme. Um, yeah, it, it, this is something that they carry very often. And I'm gonna put uh, links to all of these guys' web page uh, web pages down below. So you can check them out, and uh, I don't know if you can order anything from them or whatnot, but yeah, you should definitely check these guys out. And on to the Flying Dog in Heat Wheat. This is the one I'm scared of. I I am very skeptical of this one. <laughs> uh, but hey, let's let's see what we got here. If this thing tastes like bananas, I'm shit bricks. Oh my god, I, I'd love to. I want a banana like beer. If it's a flavor, they could probably make it. They have booger or jelly beans. I'm sure <laughs> banana beer isn't that far fetched. I don't know what that. It, that one kind of smells like oatmeal. Yeah. Like, but just plain oatmeal. Like, nothing added. Just. Like, you open yeah. up a bag of dry oatmeal and take a sniff. Just plain oatmeal. Alright, uh, let's do this. <laughs> Ugh, not a fan. Not a fan. Where's that pumpkin beer? Oh god, that is fucking terrible. <laughs> um I will say this. It feels like they tried to go for a banana flavor. <laughs> it really does. Once I, I I gotta go in for a second round. <laughs> I gotta I gotta reassess this. Yeah, they definitely tried something banana-ish. Okay, no, uh, best example. You know when you, you keep your bananas on the top of the fridge and uh, you're, you're down to that last one and it's a little smushier yeah. and has a drier taste than the rest of them? Well, take Pap's Blue Ribbon, <laughs> smash up that banana and add it all together and I think this is what you would have. Uh, I, I, they, this is just not good. They, they tried and they failed. Uh, Trav? Hey, <laughs> everybody, we've got a special guest, Travis Herman! Hey! So, uh, let's, let's make some room on the couch here for you. Try some beer? <laughs> uh, beer. actually... What is beer? Okay, what is beer? now that we... Uh, what is beer, son? 
Beer is a magical thing. It takes, it takes all your good play, uh, good <sighs> feelings and turns them into shitty feelings, but you're too drunk to notice. Uh, since we have three people here, I wasn't gonna do this, but uh, let's fucking mix these all together. Oh god. <laughs> Look, you're the bartender, so yeah. you you go ahead and put these together. Oh, for me, I thought that was words, and I thought it was all like right. the inscription on the outside of the Lord of the Rings thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh That's yeah! We're going on the quest! One cup to rule them all. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cheers. Right, this is, this is gonna be sad. Oh, uh, this is <laughs> terrible. I like it. It's alright. <laughs> Tastes like a hard beer. It's very hard. Bavarian. I think the, the better Get ones... Get done. I think the better ones kind of outweighed the shitty ones. I, I do too. Um, you know what I think was the most prominent was the, uh, the, the poet. Yeah. Because I definitely tasted a lot more Guinness in there than anything, so it had to be the poet. See, the trouble with poets is how do you know it's deceased. Ah! Uh, uh, I would suggest just about any one of these, except for the In Heat Wheat. Uh, now, that's not to say that all of their stuff is bad, so before somebody starts suing me, uh, <laughs> fucking, I mean, it's just this one. I've never tried anything else from them before, but, I mean, uh, with an inscription like that on the side, I'm definitely going to have to uh, check some more of their beers out. Definitely, that one's good. Yeah. I like that. I like that. You like this one? Not the beer, I like the label. Oh, yeah, the label's <laughs> nice. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to have to try more of them. But this this specific flavor was shit. I didn't really like it. But yes, anyways, uh, like I said, you can check the description below for any of the links for these. Subscribe if you like beer. <laughs> Subscribe if you like beer. You like beer, you like t-shirts, you like couches, you like these things. You like these aliens things. with pumpkins. All kinds of things in this video. Tag it up. Spongebob. Woo! <laughs> <And> <laughs> got away from me. Uh, like these guys said, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you love it, uh, check me out on the Facebook, the Twitter, I'm always making posts and whatnot. Mm. Follow these annotations if you want to see my last Edible Obscurities or my last video in general. Mm. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for being here. You just randomly fucking showed up. Thank you for planning on being here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to see this guy later on uh, next month uh, because I found <laughs> our footage from oh, okay. our edible obscurity, so I'm going to put it out next That'll month. That'll be good. That'll be good. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, we're going to get drunk now. So, bye. Bye. <laughs> This is our shitty fucking uh, <laughs> bottle opener. <laughs>